Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a fun video today. It is an opening, reveal, unboxing, whatever you guys wanna call it. Um, I got a new Louis Vuitton and I'm going to open it for the first time with you guys today. So if you wanna see which one I got, keep on watching. All right, so just a little backstory. I am the type of person when I want something, I like to save up my money. So I've been setting aside a little bit of cash so that I could go make this purchase. And um, probably about a couple weeks ago, Matt was like, you know what? You deserve to treat yourself. So I drove my happy little butt out to Louis Vuitton in Woodland Hills, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite mall in LA. And um, I picked up this brand new bag and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Ah. All right, so let's see it. Now, I did buy this in the store, like I said, and it's been in the box for a couple of weeks. I haven't taken it out, and that's because we just moved into a brand new house. When you guys see this video, it's gonna be a couple weeks later, but we just moved into a brand new house. I've not had a reason to get it out of the box or the bag yet, so that's why. Um, my favorite thing about Louis Vuitton is the packaging. The bags and the boxes that they put your products in are just unreal, I love them. So this is the box that it came in and it's just so pretty. I like to save all of my boxes that are like this um, because they're just great quality. Ah. All right. So all Louis Vuittons, when you buy them new, come in the dust bags, which is really my favorite. I think it's fantastic because that way it keeps everything safe. And this is the bag I got. Oh, it's so pretty. I got the Neverfull. And this is the MM, which is the medium size. So the GM's the biggest, PM's the smallest, and MM is the middle. Um, this is the Demir Azure print. It is not the traditional. I actually love this. This is my first Louis in this print. I did have a knockoff for years in this print, and I loved that thing. So finally, it's nice to be able to afford a real one. Let's see, I'm taking it apart for the first time. So the thing that I love about the Neverfull, well, the it's the print, the Demir Azure, is the pink interior. Also, if you guys have a Neverfull that's a couple years old, it didn't come with the pouch. Now it comes with a nice little pouch inside, and I love that. Um, so, and it comes apart. You don't have to keep it in there. It attaches on the inside corner right there. So I went ahead and took the pouch out and as you can see, it's got the little thing to attach it which is great so you don't lose it, but it just loops through. So you can take it off easily and just use this like maybe as a little card pouch or maybe lipstick holder. It's got an extra pocket in there. So this is just a really nice little added bonus to the bag. Um, so I had gone into Louis Vuitton with the intention of buying the GM, which is the largest Neverfull, because I bought I bought this for travel. As you guys know, we travel so much, and I wanted a tote bag slash purse that could fit my laptop, because let's be real, I have to have my laptop on board. But when I travel, a lot of times I have Ahsoka with me, which she's back there, I don't know if you guys can see her or not, she's so cute. Um, and when I travel with her, she is my carry-on. So when you're traveling with your pet, you can only bring one small personal item, such as a purse or a backpack. Backpack, what's a backpack? <laughs> backpack. And um, your dog is your carry-on, like I said. So I have to fit everything that I need for my flight into my purse. And I, I've been carrying my, um, my Zach Posen purse on board, which I love, or my Henry Bendel um, backpack. And they both are great, but they're just quite, not quite big enough. And as you can see, this will fit a laptop perfectly in side of it with my makeup bag, headphones, um, vitamins, whatever it is that I travel with my small cosmetic case, and it'll all fit in there nicely. The GM would be even better for travel, quite honestly, but I put it on my shoulder and I looked at it in the mirror and it just was so overwhelming. And I think it's because I'm so short. I'm only 5'4". So this will fit really nicely over my shoulder. It's not gonna overwhelm me um, size-wise, and it's got the side things that you can fold in and make it smaller, which that's the reason that the GM will work for a lot of people, but for me personally, it just felt too big. Maybe I'll end up getting the GM um, when we have a baby one day so that it can be my um, diaper bag, but for now, this is a really, really great size. So the inside of the Neverfull is pretty, it's pretty empty. Um, there's only one pouch, which is really great so that you can store your um, keys or co maybe cosmetics or gum or whatever right there. And then it's got the one side 
thing right here that you can attach your little pouch to, and then the base of it is pretty, it's, it's not a hard bottom base, it's pretty flimsy. So I'm gonna end up getting myself a, um, a shape keeper, or what's, what's it called, a base? A base for inside of the purse so that it keeps its shape really nicely when I'm storing it. All right, so the price point for the MM, which is again, the medium size bag is US $1,260. It's a little bit of a punch in the gut, maybe a big one, but the thing that I've learned about Louis Vuitton is that they really, really hold their resale value. I mean, um, when you go to buy a used Louis Vuitton, honestly, if it's in great quality, you're only gonna save like 100 to 300 max. Um, if it's more than that and it's awesome quality and you're looking online, then you wanna check the authenticity because, I mean, honestly, they, they resell so well. The, also, um, I mentioned that I have the pink interior. You can also get it in the, the nude or um, tan striped interior if you prefer that. Um, I like the pink because it's so girly. Also, um, this comes in four different prints. The Neverfull does, um, which are the four classic Louis Vuitton prints, but I just wanted this because I thought it was beautiful for spring. And honestly, it's, it's an off-white, so it can be used all year long and it's, I don't know, it's really beautiful. So I'm super, super stoked to have this bag. I've wanted it for a really long time. I'm really excited for it. Um, the quality is is really fantastic. The bag is beautiful. Um, maybe I'll be able to give you guys a better review of it once I actually wear it because I haven't even worn it yet. I am sharing it with you guys before I even took it out of the box, which is you guys are lucky. So that is my new Louis Vuitton bag. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you already have this bag. What do you think? Do you love it? What about the size? Do you think I should have gone with the GM? Did I make a mistake? I'm actually traveling tomorrow, so I'll know really, really soon if I think that this was the right size or not to go with. Um, as of right now, I think it was the right size. I think I made the right decision. Also, if you're looking to buy a Louis Vuitton, leave a comment below and let me know um, because by the time this video goes up, I will have been able to use it for several weeks and I can let you know if I feel like it was truly worth every penny that I spent on it. Um, but right now, I think it was because I think it's beautiful. Leave a comment below. Let me know what video you want to see from me next. And don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLanter.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all so much. Au revoir.